the major bebop scale is obviously being played over major chords. That's major 7, major 9, major 13 or 6, whatever is in the major group, uh, chord group. All right. And there is a chromatic note between the 5th and 6th degree of that scale. So the 5th degree of C is, is a G and the 6th is A. So there's a G-sharp passing note in between. And there's a reason for that that I'm going to be explaining to you later. But let's check it out first. We have a C major scale pattern here. This is what I call pattern 4 out of 5 that cover the entire fretboard. And now we add, between the G and the A, we add a G sharp. Let's start down here because that's the first time this occurs. G, G sharp. Here is your passing note, the bebop note. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. G sharp here or here, doesn't matter. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, G sharp, A. In order to make the bebop scale more musical, let's add another tool, arpeggios. Let's play an arpeggio from each of the chord tones of a C major 7 arpeggio. Sounds complicated, it isn't. Okay, let's start with the C major 7 arpeggio over a C major 7 chord, of course. Or a C major 9 or major 13. That doesn't matter as long as it's any C major chord, uh, group chord. So C, E, G, B, that's a C major 7 arpeggio, easy. And now let's go back the bebop scale from the next, or one of the next nearest, chord, uh, nearest scale tones. So C would be available, but let's check A. Let's go back A, because then we have that A flat right away. So A, A flat to G, F, and then we resolve it two chord tones of the C chord. Here's a C chord, E and C, the third in the root. You should always play the bebop scale from the root, third, fifth, and sixth of the uh, scale so that the chord tones fall on the uh, beats. And you have to start on a beat and play only eight notes. That's what the scale is about. So when you start on the root, one and two is a chord tone again, and three is a chord tone, and is the chromatic, should be on and always. Four is the sixth, which is also cool. cool. The seventh is and, and then we're on the beat again. If you start on the third, same thing happens. One and two, and is the chromatic. Th one and two and three and four and one. You will always land on chord tones that way, okay? Don't start on the seventh. That doesn't work out because you only have a half tone to the next uh, chord tone. So if you start on the first, third, fifth, and sixth of the chord on a beat and just play eight notes up or down, you can even mix. It will always, as long as you don't jump, you will always land on chord tones on the beat. That's what the bebop scale is about. If you want to dig deeper into jazz playing, check out my starter packs. I have all different kinds of genres like Latin, jazz, blues. You learn how to do the rhythm comping. You learn how to improvise. There are chord melody packages on my uh, lesson shop. And all the lesson material is included, uh, like the Taps Guitar Pro Taps, including Taps and Notation, backing tracks, and of course, uh, the link to the uh, detailed video tutorials. The price on these packages is a no-brainer, so click the link down below in the description box and grab yours now. The eight notes and the linear approach make this kind of playing a little boring. That's why we added in the arpeggio and now let's learn a new trick, a jazz trick. It's called octave displacement, okay? So we had our C major arpeggio and now let's change the first note and put in an octave higher on this C. The rest remains the same. So it's still C, E, G, B, the arpeggio, but now it's high C, E, G, B. Then on count three, we go to that A again, which is the sixth. We said we can start the bebop 
uh, scale on one, three, five, and six of the uh, scale. And resolution. And now the resolution at the end, I also play that an octave higher. Right? So what we get is. So now let's look at what happens when we start an arpeggio from the third of the C major chord, as I said in the beginning. C major 7, the third is E. Now let's keep stacking thirds, that's how we shape chords. Let's keep stacking thirds in the key of C major. A third, a third, and a third. That gives us a D on top. E, G, and B we already had within the C major chord, but now we get, we add another third, and that's the ninth, C major 9. And starting from the E gives us an E minor 7 chord. And let's do that octave displacement again. Let's place the E on top. You get instant jazz with that octave displacement thing. And now we go back from the C, the uh, bebop scale. And then we resolve to C major chord. So let's keep going with the diatonic arpeggios. We start on the fifth now of the C, that's the G. Let's move to the next uh, pattern, actually, pattern number five. You have all the patterns we need for this uh, lesson in the uh, info box below, all right? So G gives us a G, B, D, F, G7. Now you may say, if you're a little experienced, what does that F do in a C over a C major chord? That sounds awkward. That's the uh, 11th and the 11th or 4th is the avoid tone of the C major scale, or actually over a C chord at least, because it clashes against that third. Yes, but you can use it as a passing tone. It's on the and after all, one and two and, and you always want to resolve it to E or up to G, so to the next chord tone of the C. It gives a little, little tension, so that's cool as long as you don't land on it, okay? Then I go up the scale, one and two and three, Three, go up the scale, okay, and then at the end I use a C major 7 arpeggio, backwards descending, C, B, G, E, so, uh, and I play that double time, so let's speed things up, let's play them play this lick in 16th notes, and when you do double time it's always straight 16th notes and it's not swing. Okay, slowly. Now let's hear that at burning fast tempo. The last arpeggio we're going to be using is the B half diminished. We start on the major 7th of the C major chord, that's a B. Let's move up here. B, keep stacking in thirds, the C major scale in thirds. B, D, F, A gives you a B half, uh, that's an A, sorry, B half diminished uh, chord. So we start with this. Then I let it ring, I play a syncopation, let it ring into count three, one and two and three. And now on three and I start the bebop scale from the chromatic note. We learned we have to play it from root, third, fifth or sixth on a beat, but I'm now on an off beat. So I need to be on the uh, things in between, like the uh, sharp five. Then I go down, I'm on the beat, on the fifth now and can go back up. So 
So I'm going down and up the scales. As long as you go stepwise wise and you start on the uh, correct counting, then you're, you're good. <laughs> So this way, going down and up, gives me a lot of chromatic. Slowly. And at fast tempo. Check out my concept lessons playlist up here on my YouTube channel. Uh, the links down below in the uh, info box for the tabs and other lessons like this one. Please give this video a fat thumbs up. It's really important for me as a creator. Subscribe my channel and I hope to see you next week. Ciao, bye bye.